Hello everyone! Ugh, that was so cringe. I haven't been on here in like eight months, I wanna say. Because, well it's a long story, I'll probably sit down and talk about it at another point. Yeah, so life's been a bit manic at the minute. Me and Joe's been, sorry that's the dogs outside. Me and Joe's been super busy. Um, we've been staying at my mum and dad's a lot as well. Whenever we go there, we always leave this place in a mess and then when we come back, we've got to cook tea. Then we go to bed, wake up in the morning, and then we've got to go to work again. So we haven't really been keeping this place tidy. But that's what I'm going to do today. But I know a lot of my videos have been like tidy in this place and stuff like that. Um, so sorry if it's got boring now, but this is my favourite kind of videos to watch. So yeah, but we have just come back from shopping, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, we just went and did big food shop and just got some little bits that we needed uh, just got some cleaning bits um, to help me clean the place today but yeah this before I do the food shop I do want to show you this place because it's actually it's actually so embarrassing how messy we've let the place get but life does get on top of you sometimes and life gets busy so can't really help it we've also got washing to do Joe's took a load down did that and there's a whitewash to do after um, but I'm going to do that in a bit because I need the clean pillowcases to put on the bed. Um, so, yeah, look at the state of this place. Um, this is what the kitchen's like looking like so far. I can't actually see, but the hob is, yes, you can see us, disgusting. Um, but Joe made tea yesterday and didn't wash up because um, he's a little tramp. You can't really, like, see from here, but when you look up close, it's just messy. And I've got to, like, fill the sugar jar up and stuff like that. Um... My fridge is looking a bit sorry for itself. Hey man. <laughs> She's like, let me in. Dog basket looks messy. The sofa's messy. It looks like there's stains on here, but it's actually not. It's where I scrubbed it with like this fabric like scrubber thing. But it's like stained it. It's like it's like bleached it almost. Bed is a mess. Um yeah, it's just messy down there. I pulled the bedside table out and there's actually loads of dust down there, so I've got to clean that. I actually can't believe I'm showing YouTube this. But yeah, I've got to put the pillowcases back on the pillows, just tidy up the wardrobe, tidy up the shoes up there. The bathroom needs cleaning because if you look close, it's just, just a bit dirty. I need to clean our toothbrushes. It's really weird, but like, I just need to scrub these because toothpaste just gets on them. This is me. <coughs> Um, yeah, got to do that wash, um, got to pick that up, put some new towels out, going to clean the shower, just tidy it up a little bit. A lot of my cleaning stuff I might just do in time lapses because I don't really need to talk through like what I'm cleaning and stuff like that, like everyone knows how to clean. Um, so yeah, and at some point we need to like put window sills in the bedroom and stuff like that because when we did the container we were so excited to move in, we moved in and didn't finish it like perfectly so there is just little touches that we want to do like we need to like paint this door and stuff like that um which i will just do in due course and we've actually put a tv in the bedroom now um so we literally never sit in the living room anymore we sit in the bedroom all the time because obviously it's winter so yeah we've got a tv in the bedroom now and that's why our bed isn't up against this window anymore um, and it does really annoy me having the bed here because it just looks so off center. Look, we need to like scrub these windows. But yeah, it looks so off center. It just looks weird. There's no way, no other way we can have the bedroom because obviously we've got the wardrobes in and stuff. So I guess it's something we've just got to deal with. And yesterday I did actually go shopping with my sister-in-law. Got some bits and that's a pretty little thing order that I need to send back. So I ordered some clothes and it was just a massive fail so yeah i've got some bits in there which i'll show you before i start cleaning but first i need to put the shopping away because we've got some frozen stuff which is probably defrosted by now There are some other random bits that I got shopping. So I actually got the pink stuff paste because this is meant to be really good and I've never tried it. And like on this 
pop it's got like a bit that just won't come off so i'm hoping this will help and then obviously when your pans get dirty and stuff you can scrub it with this and get that off gotta read the fuser for the bathroom just to have in there so it smells nice all the time juice which i need to put in the fridge um we thought we'd try this it's basically just aldi's version of Sephora. yeah i thought i'd try it because it's only a pint and Sephora's like two pounds seventy now which is alright because it does last long but I use it to like soak my cloths in with kettle water and put it in the bathroom sink and stuff like that so I thought I'd try it. Some surface wipes, um, I just use these to like clean down the kitchen cupboards and stuff like that so they're just easy. Um, not good for the environment I don't think but what can you do? Um, some more washing up liquid because our little like pumpy jar thing needs filling up. But I did actually pick up a green version of this, like you know the just original green. I was like, oh no, I need to go get the blue one because that's what we've got in the jar. And Joe was like, why does that matter? I was like, well, I'm not going to mix them. And he was like, why not? And I was just like, you're just a boy, you just don't understand nothing, do you? So it might just be like my OCD kicking in. Um, and got the fairy beads because we use the fairy gel. Um, we do use Lenore fabric soft softener but my mum and dad use these beads and their washing always smells so good um i've got another pack of rice there yeah their washing always smells really good and my mum said this, these beads that they use they only really use it because it's um like sensitive towards baby clothes um and obviously they wash my niece's clothes sometimes but i thought i'd just try them because i thought with the fairy liquid and stuff like that it might just boost the smell a bit more some toothpaste just for when we run out of ours i've got a scrubbing brush um, to go with the pink stuff because I thought I could like scrub around the hob because yeah it'll just get in those spaces a little bit better I've been looking at screens the whole time I haven't looked at the camera once it's so hard to look at the camera because I just feel like I'm staring into space um, but yeah I'll try I'll try my best and obviously got some sugar to fill up our sugar pot I think I might just do like time lapses of me tidying and cleaning and stuff like that and then when i want to talk about stuff i'll just jump back on yeah just thought i'd reset everything ready for the week and then when we're going to the gym it's all like nice for when we come back we ain't got to tidy and then we can get on and cook tea and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna get on with it now and stop chatting absolute shite i hope you guys get as much satisfaction what is happening with me lately i actually can't talk like not even just in this vlog, I actually can't talk lately. I keep getting really like tongue tied and stuff. Um, but I hope you guys have as much satisfaction as I do over this. So this is like, this pan's pretty brand new actually. Um, but yeah, it's obviously gone brown on the bottom. So I might use the pink stuff on there and see how well it works and then show you because you know, I'd love to watch stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna put that on there and see if it works. Yeah, this is really sad, but this is the kind of stuff that I find, like, this is what I call fun. Okay? Don't judge. I'm really not sure what to think of that. Um, that's kind of worked. Let me see if I can show you. That's kind of worked. Like, it looks a lot more silver. Obviously, it hasn't got everything off, but I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if that was a fail or if that actually worked i'm not quite sure but i will keep using it on everything to see if it works because i feel like like stuff like that like getting the stuff the bottom pan bottom of the pans um it's quite hard and i feel like it does stick with i need to not hold it down here because that's not attractive um yeah i feel like whatever you do it never comes off i'll keep using it on everything and maybe it'll work hey means hey man hey man say hi to the vlog Hey, hey vlog. Oh my god, look at the state of the floor. You can actually see it. Now, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Look, Dottie's looking at me with disgust. I don't know who she thinks she is sometimes. Look how she's just sat there with her arms folded. As if she's like the queen. She lives there rent free. Like, it makes everyone feel sorry for her. And, yeah, she just thinks she's the queen. Honestly, she tries to she tries to eat men's food all the time. Poor men, like, don't know what the hell's going on most of the time, do you? 
do you? Um, but yeah. So, give me a tiny bit of attention. Look who's here. You. 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 Look, oh, now Min's getting jealous. Everyone's just jealous. Everyone's jealous! Uh, right, I need to get on because I'm just procrastinating now and I've not done nothing. I just thought I'd let you know that this is my favourite clean kitchen with the Sif cream. Well, it's cleaned so well and it always... Um... Now nah, I'm actually going to give up in a minute because I can't talk. Whatever you clean, it leaves it smelling nice, alright? That's all you need to know. I actually think that's the kitchen done now um so i've done this side um, i'm gonna put this in the wash now by the way so yeah i've done this side wiped down everything took everything off put it back um this is two bits just to wash up so never mind that i know it's really annoying the sink's been cleaned um those bits down there i'm gonna clean in the shower and scrub them because i don't want to dirty this again sorry about the dirty windows that's a job for another day and like all the windows need to be cleaned um, but I feel that's a whole job in itself. Took all this off, scrubbed all this down, this is all clean now. Right, I'm going to do the living room area now. watching this if like oh my god this piece of hair i'm gonna cut it off in a minute um if anyone watching this is like expert at like plants and stuff like that like indoor plants um please let me know if i'm doing this wrong because i always just assume that you cut off dead leaves of plants but i might actually be killing them even more so i'm not sure but please let me know and advise me how to do it properly By the way, if anyone lives in a small space um, and needs a vacuum, this Makita one is amazing. Uh, you do have to, obviously if you're not in like the trade and stuff, you do have to buy the Makita batteries to go with it. But obviously, my boyfriend's, um, uh, what was I gonna say? My boyfriend's like got all the like, gels and stuff, so obviously he's got the batteries. My boyfriend wanted to get gel. Well, I don't know what I'm my boyfriend. Uh, Joe wanted to get one for ages, and I was like, no, it'll be crap. We need a proper vacuum. Um, and he bought one, and yeah, I've got to give it to him. I know he's going to be watching this video, so I'll give it to you. You were right, it is an amazing vacuum. Um, and it's just so compact. Uh, it's just got a little head there. You get like a little thing, and you can like take this out, use it as a little small, like handheld vacuum. I just thought I'd let you know, and I'm pretty sure he said it was like £60. How true that is, I don't know, because he can't remember diddly squat. Um, but yeah, so good. And you just twist this off. It's got like a filter. And then, ugh, that's disgusting. It needs to be emptied. Um, but that's how you empty it. And then, yeah, you just clip the battery on and just... <laughs>
plant area tidy. Um, just took it all out, vacuumed it all, put the plants back. They don't need watering because I did water them the other day. Um, so yeah, that's all tidy. Now on to, well, and the sofa's tidy. It looks way worse on camera. Um, yeah, it's so annoying that this happened to the sofa, but it was quite cheap anyway, so not too bothered. Um, yeah, just need to vacuum all around here and stuff now, put that away. Bed's looking kind of tidy, it's got their toys. And um, Min's there for more support, isn't you, Min's? In you? Yeah. Give me more support. Oh, that stayed tidy for long, didn't it, Min? So we've actually decided to have tea now, and then I'm going to finish cleaning the bedroom after because I'm really hungry and I can't be bothered to do anything, so I need to get some energy. Joe really wants to show everyone the size of <laughs> the size of that steak because apparently he's never seen that one that big before. There you go, there's size for you. It takes up almost the old chopping right. board. Thank you. Yeah, I did say to him that um, I said you'd have to cut this milk because I've never done it before so I don't really know what to do. But then I said, oh, you've got a bad back so I would cook tea for you but I've uh, made him cook it anyway. We all knew that was going to be a lie. So he's just put garlic infused oil in the pan, if anyone wants to know, because clearly he doesn't know how to work YouTube. He just does it and just expects people to guess. Oh. High heat pan. Bangs. Um, High heat pan. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the pink stuff that I used on the hob actually looked, worked really well. It's got the stain off that was on there. So, yeah, what's that? Um, is this like proper like cook with gel? Where it teach people how to cook banging food. Okay. Right, screaming up pan with a steak. Don't put it in just because it's just starting to get warm. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not really meant to put oil in first, but you know, we live oh, and we learn. You're meant to let it like steam, like when the smoke comes off it. Right that's then, so we're gonna get food poisoning. That no, silly. Silly boy. I don't know where to put this on my big tripod. Just, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Wait, I'll be back now. Um, I really wanna get Joe a steak stamp. He doesn't really know what that is. Do you? My no, I'm not even told him, but I've seen them now. Yeah, or you just like get it really hot and you stamp it. You can have like birds or, I don't know. But this cook with me is the most boring cook with me you have ever watched. Oh, sorry. I cook in silence for a music on usually. So, oh. right. So yeah, get your onion, however you want it, dice it finely, or you can do big bits of it, you know. Ideally you want to breathe through your mouth, don't go through your nose, that's why you cry. That's true facts actually. I've never kicked off facts. It's actually not, I learned that in school. I wonder if they can even hear us. Well, they're like, ah! Oh, this thing's just a monster. Let it away from you. Wow, get a get a close up on that colour. I was thinking, yeah, wow, wow. There you go. Normally, I am actually the one who cooks. No, I actually am. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I actually am the one who normally cooks. Yeah, one of Joe's favourite things to do is. When he makes a meal, every single spice that we own, he puts a bit of it in there. So like, he just, well we just marinated some chicken for him for uh, food prep. And he had this uh, barbecue sauce that he put in with the chicken. And he put um, paprika, onion, salt, garlic, salt, salt, pepper. Like, you know, he just, the barbecue sauce has got all that stuff in it. So you just don't, yeah, chili sweet. So yeah, but I think him putting the spices in makes him think that he's a good cook, so I just let him get on with it. I improvise, I improvise, I don't know. Can we talk about what happened in our lives the past few months? Wait, can we? That's fun. No, I didn't mean that. Oh, oh, right, oh. Luna! Luna! Here, I'm just searing off the fat. Right, really get those juices burning up. Mm. By the way, this 
This is probably our most used. Oh, my God, we weren't even meant to cut the steak first. <laughs> we were meant to do the best. What an idiot. This is why you didn't cook. Um, but I just thought I'd tell you that... I'm going to turn that. This is our most used plate. So we literally use them for every single meal we have. But I just feel like food actually tastes different out of stuff that we eat out. Like, I just... Nah, not like tastes different. That's, that's the same thing about it. But I prefer eating out of one of these than a plate. 100%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So much better. So it's just like a shallow bowl. Well, it's like a plate with a lip. But yeah, if you want to know where we got them, we got them... <laughs> we got them in 10 cents. I think they were like four times each. So... Um... You always want to let your meat rest. Especially on the seat. What a big dog that is. Wow. Wow, the silence is actually so... barking at you. <laughs> Just give me the ick. Ow! Oh, I don't think I actually said what meal we're doing. It's a bit of an improvisation. It's sort of like a meal that we've enjoyed in the past, and I thought, well, we could just do it. Actually, no, you were the one that said we could do it to steak. Um, no, I actually didn't say about doing it to steak. I thought we were going to get a pork tenderloin. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. But I forgot we had the steak. But we're doing steak with rice and creamy mushroom sauce. Actually, I think I did say earlier. Yeah. I shouldn't have put this in my vlog because now all the girls are going to be messaging you like thinking that you're a good cook and cook for me every night. It's good. But really, but it's the first time this year you've cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, we all know what that means. <laughs> well, Chad, what's in there? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know that, <laughs> <laughs> So, we wanted all of those meat juices that is now coating all of the veg, not to be coating the veg. We wanted it to be in the cream, the double cream. That's why you want them. You ain't putting the cream in with the veg, no, are you? No, you take the veg out, then you cream it up. Right, so I'm going to cook some rice now. We just get, well, we shop in Aldi because it is cheap and it is, like, you go to this Aldi. Is good. Yeah, literally, and you can get, like, four bags of shopping. Costs, like, look, yeah, 50 pounds. Go to Tesco, it's, like, 120. I wonder if you can see it. Yeah, of course you can. What, do you think I'm going to get sued? Yeah, let's <laughs> Um, But, yeah, Aldi all the way. But um, I do like going to Tesco for some stuff. Like, I feel like some stuff you do need to get branded. Yeah. Um, mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise. Actually, no, nah, because your old man bought it. Oh, yeah. Them, and that's actually pretty decent. Yeah. Jeez. Ah, you need to put some more of that bomb on? Oh, I'll be safe. Don't be doing this dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, out of the kitchen now, out of the kitchen. All dogs out of the kitchen. You don't all need to be crowded in the kitchen like you're gonna get something if you're good. So, as you can see, I'm the one who's cooking tonight. <laughs> Is there anything else needs to go in this sauce? I don't know. What, that's it? You don't put cheese in there? I thought it was like a creamy mushroom, like cheesy sauce. Creamy mushroom sauce, not cream, cheesy creamy sauce. Oh my god, that's actually banging. Taste that. I know, it's nice. Oh, okay, it's getting it. all smug. <laughs> Your dad told you how to cook this, so don't get home and it. All right. Can I taste it then? A lot of people was going to want to chuck away the meat juices. Yeah, I don't know if they can see that, yeah, but genuinely. Let me, let me have this. Go on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. No, no, well, it can all go in, really. Oh, the steak's going in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Really. You want to get the meat juices in, that's going to transform that sauce. That like sauce is actually sensational. Did you actually tell people why you cook the sauce? It's just cream. It's just double cream. Double cream and stock. Yeah. But yeah. you want to have like a nice meat, so like a pork, something like yeah, that. Yeah, we normally do pork tenderloin. Taste that. 
After putting the meat sauce in, meat sauce, meat, meat juice. Sauce <laughs> After putting the meat juice in there, it's gone to like a more of a brown. beige, yeah, yeah beige brown. brown color. This is what I remember it being like this color. But yeah, we're just gonna let that simmer for a bit. And Joe's cooked another pack of rice, so we're gonna have a pack of rice each. Um, just because we are quite hungry and we haven't really ate anything today. Right, we've finished cooking now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, don't look that great in the bowl. So we just finished tea and I can tell you it was unreal. But we've now got a shit ton of washing up to do again. Um, and we actually had a portion spare, so I'm gonna have that for lunch tomorrow. Um, but we're now gonna go down to the bottom and put our washing into the dryer. Um, because I need the cushion covers for these cushions, like I said earlier. Um, I'm just waiting for my five year old boyfriend to get off his game. Um, yeah. This is my tripod, by the way. But it really, it really reminds me of the Camp Rock scene where she's like, This is real! This is. <laughs> Right, we've come down to the laundry room to sort our washing out. We've got, yes, yeah, so we've got a dark wash, but that's already dried, and then white wash in here. So yeah, we're gonna put this in the dryer, but we have got two like small loads, because if you put it all into one, it just smells. So, yes. Right, maybe we shouldn't tumble that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? Yeah. When you say put that in the towels, why are you trying to tell me how to do the laundry when you're the one who shrinks everything? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, look at the sweat stains in that. <laughs> you little nasty. There's a little discharge in your pants, are you? Not putting that in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Edit that one out. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> That's pretty dry. I always find that was like. Pretty dry. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna cut this off here because this is boring. <laughs> Guys, I stupidly made the mistake of laying down, and now I really can't bother to get back up. But we gotta carry on and I've gotta finish the bedroom because I want to be able to get into a nice fresh bed in tonight and watch a film and stuff. It is now currently 6.49 and I am dead.
potatoes have dried now, so I'm gonna make the bed. Even though I really cannot be bothered to do that right now. Shoveled. Um, I need to go have a shower as soon as possible. Ugh, it goes all just like sat on my face. But I just thought I would show you the bed because it is now finally in focus. It's now finally made. And now that the bed is actually on, I love it. It looks so cute. So, yeah, the bed made. Cannot wait to get into it tonight. Um, this is what the rest of the room looks like. Obviously, need to fill this out with my stuff. Um, that's just a duvet that we had on the bed that is a double, so it's too small. I'm disturbing your game time. Um, yeah, kitchen's all clean. This won't last long. Obviously, this will be like this for a couple of days and then it'll be messy again. Um, but yeah clean that's rubbish um this is stuff that we don't want anymore so it's just by the door so remember to take it out that's a bag of like recycling rubbish um yeah and everything else is all tidy so i'm gonna end the vlog here because i do need to go have a shower really bad and i want to get into bed because i want to have to film and it's already quarter past nine it's quarter past nine mine. i know um we're saying that, that we probably won't be up till like half 11 anyway but yeah. but thank you so much for watching and yeah i don't know where my next video will be it'll just be when i'm doing something i guess um maybe i'll try do one next weekend as well just so i can be a bit more um what's the word a bit more yeah oh you know? mate these stones are doing my head then yeah just so i can be a bit more i can't think of the word whatever I just want to make sure I'm uploading like frequently. Thank you so much for watching and don't say bye. Bye. <laughs>